once I'm a pop child, so I, you know, I like my Adele's and stuff like that. I'm not embarrassed to say it. Don't judge me. No one judge me. Um, nothing wrong with Adele. Thank you. Um, but I can't even give you a piece that I learned. I, I just, what I try to do is just spend as much time, I try to give as much time to musical creativity as acting. And right now acting has been my focus and I'm so grateful for that. But I think the most important thing for me is just to make sure I give an hour a week just on the piano. You know what I mean? Keep myself creative. Yeah. Thank you very much for the question. Lovely question. I'd like to know you're still playing piano. Fao Xiao. And uh, I, um, I, wonder, I was wondering if you have any thoughts on why Charlie Manson might have done what he did. Uh, that's a very good question. And um, I think, to be honest, I think uh, a lot of professional clinical psychologists and doctors would, would, uh, would come up uh, stumped on that question as well, and, and not really know why. Um, yeah, but you have to understand something. Of yes. It. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I worked really hard to, along with the writers and the creators of the show, to try and uh, have a human understanding of what were incredibly serious and, and violent crimes. And um, honestly, I, I think he he was a, a person who. Uh, for whatever reason wanted to be heard and by the world and he saw very um, he went by that in a, a, a very you know uh, her horrific means to, to be heard and, and uh, I guess being in prison for a lot of his younger life fed into that wanting to be heard by uh, more people than you know uh, than the average person so um, yeah that's probably the best I can come up with Right. Can I say one thing regarding that question, just because I'm obviously as an actor massively into psychology and everything. You mentioned that, yes. Yes, yeah, no, I'm sure I did. I love to talk. Uh, <laughs> but, I know, guilty. Um, but no, I, I think a big thing with, with, with all these things, it's such, a, it's such a difficult topic to tread, isn't it? You know, with, with these kind of things. But I think a, a, a statement that I think everyone should hear and everyone should understand is the more we separate ourselves from these types of people and pretend we don't have to understand them, the more these people keep being created, keep being, keep manifesting, and we keep having to deal with this. And I think part of the problem nowadays is we look at these psychopaths, we look at these serial killers, and we look at these cult leaders, and we go, oh God, no, no, I would never do that. But if we can we find, we, we don't know, we've never been through their circumstance. I'm not justifying the, the, the atrocities of what happened, but by having no understanding, we can't change that. 